What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a really interesting and weird creation club update to be going over with you guys. We just got a little bit of a controversial one. I get I don't know if it's controversial or not. I guess we'll have to find out. You know, I'm sure you guys will get pretty active in the comments down below. But basically I think we got like a Chinese New Year update, which is a little bit interesting with, you know, some of the stuff that's been happening in the last couple of years, but more on that in the video, I guess, you know, we'll, we'll see how we go, but if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and comment in the comment section down below, and of course, go and check out my new channel, which I will all be linking in the description down below, but as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, we are on the Creation Club, um... Uh, and something really interesting that Bethesda's added, which I'm not exactly too sure, you know, I don't like to make this channel about politics or anything like that, but when Bethesda, of course, updated, you know, and did the little pride update for the Creation Club, you know, I really want to hear a lot of you guys' thoughts and opinions on this, but basically, in this week's update, Bethesda have actually released, like, a little bit of a Chinese New Year thing, which is really, really interesting to me, because, of course... I can, I, I've seen a lot of people talk a lot of smack about this already, just based on the fact that everything that has happened in the last two years with China, um, of course, I don't exactly want to get really into it or anything like that, but, you know, with COVID and all this, all the conspiracy theories, I'm really surprised Bethesda actually decide to continue to, you know, put this stuff on the store for free. It is really interesting. I will not be, um, you know, purchasing this skin, obviously. I don't really feel a need to. Um, again, if you guys would like to, that's completely up to you. It is free, but again, I'm just, I probably won't be purchasing this. I'm not exact. I don't think I'll be using any Chinese skins on my, on my playthrough. Um, and as, considering your character is supposed to be, I don't think he's exactly supposed to like the Chinese. It's a, I don't know, it's a, it's a pretty interesting thing by Bethesda here, but basically they've said weapon paint job she. Uh, customize your weapons with a new material paint. Supporter weapons include the assault rifle, combat rifle, shotgun, laser rifle, institute rifle, missile launcher, minigun, 10mm pistol. Hmm. It is just really interesting to me that Bethesda have decided to, you know, add this to the game. You know, still, like, I put this on a full discount. Like, I thought they would have been pretty nervous. I guess Bethesda, whoever's doing the Creation Club, they must have, like, uh, <laughs> big balls or something, because, my goodness, they've put the, the Pride update on. They did that, you know, where they made all the did, like, this big rainbow skins and all that type of stuff, you know, I was just like, alright, fair enough, you know, that's your thoughts and opinions on it, whether or not you think that's politics, and whether or not you think that's bringing politics into the game, I think with everything that's happened in the last couple of years with China, I think it's pretty bold Bethesda have decided to, you know, do an update revolving around it, but hey, I guess, I don't know, there's the armor paint job too, uh, so show off your new paint for your armor, so, um, supported armor includes combat, metal, synth, and leather, so again, I don't know, it's a little bit interesting, this is for free, again, I don't think I'll be wearing any Chinese stuff in my game, if you guys would like to, yeah, there it is, I guess it's for free right there, but it's a little bit of an interesting one, I feel like it's a talking point, I don't know, I'd kind of like to hear, before we get into the rest of the update, I'd kind of like to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on this down below, are you guys happy that they added like a Chinese themed update, I don't know, let me know down below. But we got a virtual workshop, 25% off. Travel to new worlds from the comfort of your settlement with the VR workshop. Transport yourself to a series of exotic landscapes such as a desert island and the iconic GNR Plaza from the capital wasteland. Featuring over 40 new craftable items, weather and music options, enemies spawned near limitless settlement building and four new worlds to choose from. It's pretty much routine. We always get this update in the game now, so it's pretty funny. Like, they just always have this on special, 25% off down to 700. We also got the Hellfire Power Armor, which is, for some reason, is reminding me of Hellboy. I don't know why. I think I watched a video on Hellboy today. I don't know. I, I heard there was a rumor that um they, they could be going back to the old ones and making a third one in the future. It'd be pretty cool. I don't know. It says, Big, beautiful, and utterly terrifying. The ultra-protective Hellfire Power Armor is the perfect way to bring the fight to the enemy and end it quickly. So, again, I don't know if there's really any quest attached to this. I can't remember. I don't think so, but it's only 300, so if you're looking for a new power armor, this is 40% off down from 500 to 300. We've also got the Heavy Incinerator, which is 400 down to 200, developed for the Enclave's Hellfire Troopers and claimed by the Forge. The Heavy Incinerator is perfect for any pyrodynamic looking for a little extra range and to conflict massive damage. This Heavy Duty Flame launch loves fireballs, reckless abandon, uh, scorching hull and earth along the way. So yeah, it's pretty interesting, I'm not too sure. This is of course 400 down to 200. 
Um, we also got the Asteroid Bundle 1200 down to 900. It says, Embark on the adventure of cosmetic proportions with the uh, Asteroid Bundle. It features Morgan spacesuit, three new weapons from the Zetan Arsenal, and weapons, armors, and unique uh, power armor set from the Captain Cosmos. A total value of 1600. And it says, note, the price has not changed. If you already, yep, we, we pretty much already know. Thanks, Bethesda. But yeah, 1,200 down to 900, 25% off. I don't know, it's a it's a pretty cool one. But again, these are the weapon paint jobs. So, hey, it is a real interesting update. I would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this one. Are you guys happy they did that, like a new Chinese New Year China update? Of course, I'd very much like to know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts and opinions on this down below. And yeah, I guess without further ado, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.